Hi, and welcome to our video on how to attract pollinators to your garden. If you love gardening and want to do your part to support local pollinator populations, then this video is for you. In this video, we'll be sharing our top tips for designing a garden that is attractive to pollinators, such as bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. From choosing a variety of flowering plants to providing a habitat that includes shelter, food, and water, these expert tips will help you create a pollinator-friendly oasis in your own backyard. So if you're ready to attract an army of pollinators to your garden, keep watching. 1. Plant a variety of flowering plants. A wide range of flowering plants will attract a variety of pollinators to your garden. Try to incorporate a mix of colors, shapes, and sizes, and consider planting both annuals and perennials to provide a continuous source of nectar and pollen. Some examples of pollinator-friendly plants include sunflowers, zinnias, coneflowers, foxgloves, basil, and lavender. Number 2. Provide a source of water. Pollinators need a source of water to drink and to use for bathing, so consider adding a birdbath or a small pond to your garden. Alternatively, you can simply place a shallow dish of water in a sunny spot. Make sure to keep the water clean and refreshed regularly to attract and support pollinators. Number 3. Create a habitat for pollinators. Pollinators need a place to rest and nest, so consider creating a habitat for them in your garden. This can include installing nesting boxes or providing a patch of bare ground where ground nesting bees can build their nests. You can also plant a mix of native flowering plants and shrubs to provide food and shelter for pollinators. Number 4. Avoid using pesticides. Pesticides can be harmful to pollinators, so try to avoid using them in your garden. If you must use pesticides, choose ones that are less toxic and target specific pests. Always follow the instructions on the label carefully to minimize the risk of pollinators. Number 5. Plant flowers in clusters. Pollinators are more attracted to flowers that are grouped together in clusters, rather than scattered throughout the garden. Consider planting your flowering plants in clusters or masses to make them more visible and appealing to pollinators. Number 6. Choose plants that bloom at different times. Planting a mix of flowering plants that bloom at different times will ensure that there is always a source of nectar available for pollinators. This will help to attract a variety of pollinators throughout the growing season. Number 7. Provide a source of pollen. In addition to nectar, pollinators also need a source of pollen to feed their young. Pollen is a protein-rich substance that is produced by flowers and is essential for the development of pollinator larvae. Pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds are attracted to flowers that produce a lot of pollen, such as legumes and composites. Consider incorporating these types of plants into your garden to provide a source of pollen for pollinators. You can also choose plants that have large, showy flowers, as these tend to produce more pollen. Providing a source of pollen will help to support the survival of reproduction of pollinators in your garden. Number 8. Create a sunny spot. Pollinators are attracted to sunny spots, so try to create a sunny area in your garden for them to visit. Make sure to include a variety of flowering plants in the area to provide a source of nectar and pollen. Pollinators are most active in warm, sunny weather, so a sunny spot will help to attract more of them to your garden. Number 9. Consider using native plants. Native plants are well adapted to your local climate and can provide a valuable source of food and shelter for pollinators. They are also more resistant to local pests and diseases, which means they will require less maintenance and care. Consider incorporating native plants into your garden to attract and support local pollinators. Number 10. Educate yourself and others. The more you know about pollinators and the specific plants that will attract them to your garden, the better equipped you will be to create a pollinator-friendly environment. Learn about the different types of pollinators in your area and the plants that will attract them and share this information with others to help raise awareness about the importance of pollinators and the steps we can take to support them. We hope that you enjoyed our video on how to attract pollinators to your garden and are feeling inspired to create a pollinator-friendly oasis of your own. By following these expert tips and using a combination of flowering plants, habitat creation, and organic gardening techniques, you can do your part to support local pollinator populations and create a beautiful and diverse garden. Thanks for watching and happy gardening! Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more.